Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Hannah. For today's video, we're going to be doing um, a chit chat, get ready with me, 0 to 100 transformation type of video. I just want to sit down, do my makeup, and talk about makeup. So yeah, make sure to subscribe down below. Give this video a thumbs up if you do enjoy it. And if you want to see the look I come up with, then just keep on watching. So we're just going to go ahead and jump right into skincare. So I really liked showing my skincare, even though it's not much before makeup but um so the first thing we go in with is the origins ginseng refreshing eye cream to brighten and to puff i've mentioned this eye cream so many times on my channel and i just love it it's so moisturizing so brightening and i just think it looks so nice underneath the eyes and underneath makeup it doesn't make my under eyes separate or anything like that and as you can see, like, it looks so much more hydrated and glowy. Oh, and also, I forgot to mention, I used, I just got out of the shower not too long ago, but I did use just a little bit of toner and just really clean my face, make sure there was any, no oils, dirt left over. Next thing I'm going to do is the Origins Original Skin Matte Moisturizer with Willow Herb. I've really been liking this as a daytime moisturizer and underneath makeup. Since it is a matte moisturizer, it's not going to make me oily or my makeup slide all around. It just hydrates the skin and gets it ready for everything else we're going to put on. I'm still like getting over being sick, so around my nose is super dry from where I was like constantly having to blow my nose. And it is cold where I live, so. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead, do my eyebrows and one eye off camera, just to get an idea of what I wanted to do. I have an idea in my head, but we'll see how that turns out. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and do that real quick off camera and then I'll be right back. Okay guys, so I just did this eye off camera. I decided to do more of like a pinky crease with like a purple wing. I might add more to it, but for now this is as good as it's getting. So, the first palette we're gonna go in with is the Lunar Beauty Strawberry Dream Palette, and we're gonna go into Cloudy and Skyline. So this is more like a peachy, corally pink, and this is like a cooler baby pink. So we're just gonna take that on a big fluffy brush. This is a M531. I love using this for my transition shades, just cause it lays it down really, really nice and lightly. It doesn't like add a ton of product. So, again, I always go a little bit above my crease and just a little bit towards my brow. I kind of want that, I don't know how to explain, like the soft glam look or the soft glam style eyeshadow, but with pinks and purples. So, we're just adding this into the crease. And then we're going to take a N441 and go into those same two shades. We're just gonna put this a little bit tighter in the crease, still going above our crease. Just wanted to make these shades pop a little bit more, just like that. That's all we're gonna do, nothing crazy. And then we're gonna go into the Jackie Ina with Anastasia palette. Love this palette. Um, I'm gonna go into a Pinker, which is just like a darker mid-tone berry pink. Taking this on the M441, we're just going to slightly start putting this into the crease. So I actually did this part after my wing when I first did this eye, but we're going to go ahead and do it now just because I didn't plan on adding any other color until after I did the wing. So we're just going to apply a little color into the outer V. Oh, I'm taking Strawberry Moon and Sunset. These are just two darker cranberry shades. I just want to add a little depth into the eye, but nothing crazy. I don't want this to get like neon pink. So we're just taking this really lightly on this smaller blending brush. We're going to go into this um, angled liner brush this is a r45 i do this all the time i use this brush for my um eyeshadow liners so we're gonna go into big wig this is just such a pretty purple 
it's almost like a pinky tone purple so we're just gonna line our um do a little wing with this i'm gonna try to keep it small like i did this side but we'll see and i don't know if i'm gonna be able to do this on camera so So we're gonna take a makeup wipe. This is just a Neutrogena makeup wipe. And we're just gonna clean this up. So I'm pretty much gonna use my nail to clean this up. Just so we can get a sharper edge. Just like that. They're probably not gonna be perfectly even, but sometimes you just gotta accept that they're not gonna be even and move on. So I'm gonna take the M433. I'm gonna take a little bit of big wig. Like I'm I'm just barely tapping into that shade. Just add a little bit into the outer part of our V and just slightly into the crease. Just to tie in some purple a little bit, but we really I want the attention on the wing. I don't really want it on the um eyeshadow itself. That's why I'm kind of doing such a light bit of it and now last step I'm gonna go into my NYX three steps to sculpt face palette I don't have a cream or white shade with me right now but if you want a little bit brighter I mean use white I would probably use white if I had it but I don't feel like going to get it so we're just gonna use this NYX face powder and I'm pretty much I'm gonna like fake cut my crease with eyeshadow I guess so we're just gonna go like right up here I don't know if you can see, we're just going right up into here just to kind of give the illusion that our eyes are bigger. Yeah. So that's what I meant by kind of like the soft glam look because I feel like that is the soft glam look. But so that's all we're going to do for now. I might add more, we'll see. But we're going to go ahead and apply some mascara. This is the L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise. I'm just going to do that off camera real fast and I'll be right back. Now we're just going to go ahead and move on to the face. So the first thing we're going to do is prime. I'm just going to first go in with the Fenty Beauty Soft Silk Pro Filter Hydrating Primer. We're just going to apply this all over the face. Like I said, I'm just getting done being sick. So I just feel like my face is a little, a little extra dry. So I just want to use... Um, we're hydrating primers today, but I am going with a matte foundation so I don't get too greasy or dewy. Okay, and then the next primer I'm going to go in with is the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. I do really like this primer. It's definitely not for everybody because if you don't like, like the sticky, uh, gripping type of primers, you're not going to like this primer at all. And I know for some people this is breaking them out. I haven't had any problems with that, but you definitely want to kind of test it just to make sure it's not gonna break you out. I probably wouldn't wear it all over the face right off the bat. Maybe just do like a little spot test just to make sure. But I like to pat this one in after I've rubbed it in just because it is very sticky, but that is what helps with prolonging your makeup wear. So with this primer, you do need to let it sit just for a couple, like maybe like 30 seconds to a minute, just so it soaks into the skin. Because if you don't let it sit, it can make your makeup go on just a little bit patchy. So definitely want to let that primer sit. Oh, and I forgot to do this in the beginning, but while that sits, we're going to go in with the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. Just to hydrate our lips. I love this lip mask. I don't think it's better than my aqua four, but I do think it tastes better than my aqua four. Cause I mean, even if you like, you you always get a little bit of your lip balm in your mouth just by eating, drinking, talking, going on about your day. So now that we've let that primer sit, I'm gonna go on with foundation. I'm gonna use the Maybelline Matte and Poreless Fit Me Foundation in the shade 102 Fair Porcelain. And I'm just going to go with my sponge and start blending this in. Okay, so 
so that is definitely good for me this is more like a medium coverage but you could build that up to be full if you wanted to but i'm just gonna leave it medium so for concealer this is the cover effects power play concealer in the shade in fair one one so when i first tried this concealer i didn't really love it but i've been trying it out recently and i definitely need to keep trying it out to really get more like full thoughts on it But I am going to do a updated first impressions or updated thoughts on first impressions that I've done. So I'll let you know in that video how I've been loving it. I'm probably going to film that maybe next week, week after next. With the holidays, I feel like everything, like the weeks are just flying by and I'm super busy and I just feel like I blink and then I, the week is over. So we're going to go ahead and let that concealer sit. Just for like a couple minutes and then we'll be right back. We're gonna go ahead and start blending this concealer out. I'll let it sit. I like to let it sit just so it can get a little bit tacky and it can be a little bit fuller covered. I'm just going to take a little concealer brush just to blend like in the harder to reach areas so around my nose and around my eyes. It's not looking the best because my nose is so dry and peeling, but it's fine. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and set. I'm just going to use my Laura Mercier translucent powder. And I'm just going to lightly push that into the skin. I really don't pick up much powder and I also tap it off onto my hand. So just look up. And I'm just going to take a big fluffy brush just to make sure we don't have any excess powder just sitting on the skin. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and bronze. At first, I'm actually going to contour. I'm just going to do like a slight contour with the Fenty Beauty in the Sun bronzer. And I'm taking my favorite contour brush. This is Morphe Times Jaclyn Hill JH05. And then I'm going to take a bigger fluffy brush and I'm going to Shady Biz. I've really been loving doing this lately, just like contouring with the In The Sun bronzer and then going over this with, and then going over it with Shady Biz just to further blend, blend it out and to add a little bit more warmth. I'm just going to take a clean big blending brush just to blend that out. Okay, so now that we've done that, ouch, I'm just going to go ahead and bake. I'm going to do a little bit of Laura Mercier and a little bit of Fenty. I don't know if this is just me, but my Fenty Beauty like cap doesn't close, like the powder doesn't close all the way. So it makes a huge mess because if I turn it over, like turn it to the side, it all tips out the side of the cap, I guess, where it doesn't close right. I just feel like this, I really like this powder, but I feel like it makes a really big mess. So we're just going to mix those two. First, I'm going to go with Laura Mercier and just bake underneath my contour. Just because I don't really want that like brighter. I just want to like clean it up. And then we're going to do our under eyes by mixing those two. So 
Yeah. Mm hmm. You gotta be kidding me. Why did I wear a black shirt? Who, who told me that was a good idea? Really, who told me? I'm gonna go ahead and finish up the lower lash line. So I'm gonna first gonna go into the Lunar Beauty palette. I'm just gonna take a M433. I'm gonna start blending with on the lower lash line. I'm really not gonna do much on the lower lash line. I wanna add just a little, little something something. Go into a little bit of pinker on that same M433. And that'll honestly probably be all we do. I'm actually gonna go in with a little bit of trust issues, I think. Do I have any trust issues? I'm gonna mix a little bit of blue diamond and trust issues and put that in my inner corner. Trust issues is a little bit more golden. Well, Blue Diamond has a little bit more of a bluer tint to it, and it's a little bit more glittery. I'm going to go in with an E36. I'm just going to go in with Trust Tissues first from the Jackie Ina palette. Oh, that's so pretty. It's almost more like, actually, I might just do Trust Tissues. It's like a yellow gold. When you look at it in the pan, it looks like it's white with gold. But I feel like it's more of like a clear base. The Jackie Arna palette is most definitely one of my favorite palettes. Oh, that's so pretty. I'm going to add just a touch of this because honestly, I might just, I'm like kind of living. I'm like barely even adding the blue diamond because I liked the gold in the inner corner more than I thought I would. I kind of brought it down onto the lower lash line a little bit. Just so it can kind of give us that little oomph. Yeah, I'm really into that. So now we're going to go ahead and just take off the bake with our sponge. I'm just going to push this in to the skin. Okay, so next thing I'm gonna do is highlight. So I'm gonna spray my face with the Wet n Wild Coconut, no, Cucumber 3 in 1 Primer Water. I don't know why I keep calling it coconut. We're gonna let that sink in a little bit before we apply highlight, but I'm gonna be using my favorite highlight at the moment. This is the Jaclyn Cosmetics The Flash palette. This is seriously, I know everybody like, has their opinions about her, but this is my favorite highlight palette right now, and I've been using it every time I do my makeup. So I'm just gonna mix all three of these. That's pretty much what I do is just mix all three of these and then apply it to my cheeks. I've kind of been into highlight again recently. I kind of go through my phases of liking it, not really loving it, then liking it again. And right now I'm kind of into it. So, I've been loving this palette. There is some fallout with these shades. Uh, so if fallout does bother you, just keep that in mind, but fallout does not bother me, but there's definitely some fallout. I mean, the palette's a little messy, but I kind of just like go in with it. And so now I'm going to go ahead and apply a little blush. I'm going to use my favorite blush. I use this in almost every video. This is the Anastasia Blush Trio in Pink Passion. Um, I might just mix. I'm going to mix all three of them. We're just going to hit the cheeks. Oh, I love pink blush. I definitely can go overboard with blush, but blush does fade faster than anything on your face. I'm going to swoop and then just add a little to the apples. Ooh, ooh, we're blushed. Um, I'm actually going to apply just a little bit of this shade from the Jaclyn palette. It's like a pinky gold. Just a little. I use that as blush, not really so much highlight. I feel like if I used it as highlight, it'd be a little bit too dark for me. 
I don't know if I'm going to contour my nose today just because it is being so dry. So I'm going to probably skip that step. Well, I don't know. Should I? I don't know. Okay, I did like the lightest contour probably of ever, just because my nose is not happy with me right now. Okay, so we're gonna do, go ahead and spray our face with a little bit of Milani Make It Last Matte Setting Spray. My sprayer is a little bit defected on that one. Let's do lips. I have no idea what I'm doing for lips, but I do pink looks, I feel like I struggle with finding a perfect lip color. So I'm gonna go grab the lip color and I'll be right back. So I am back. So I grabbed two lipsticks. I have the Makeup Forever, well, I have the Makeup Forever 101 Liquid Lipstick and New Chica from Dose of Colors. I don't know which one I wanna use. It's a little warm. Okay. Um. I'm almost positive these look exactly the same. I think this one's just a pinch darker, but I'm telling you, they look exactly the same. So I'm going to use New Chica from Dose of Colors. And we're going to first go in with Soft Spoken from NYX. I suck at lighting my lips on camera, so we'll see. decent I'm actually going with a little bit of, if the light keeps changing the sun keeps coming out and then um going away so we're just working with what we got so I'm gonna go with Mac Whirl this is just a little bit more mauve and a little deeper <laughs> and then real quick I'm just gonna blend that out with my finger <clears throat> Try not to mess up the line. And then I'm gonna go with New Chica. <clears throat> New Chica. And just add that on my lips. So I'm gonna take a little bit of Diamond Milk from Fenty. guys so that is the end of this makeup tutorial i hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know in the comments if you like this look if you're going to recreate it and yeah i hope you guys have a great 2020 and yeah i'll see you in my next one bye